views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Are you ready? The Cornelia Stephanie Show. Wake up to love your call to action. Join Cornelia as she empowers others to live heaven on earth. Cornelia teaches listeners how to be the authority over yourself, embracing your inner guru. Feel yourself uplifted into limitless expansion, integrating ease and grace in a changing world. This show will cover topics such as unconditional love, your physical body, how to be in extraordinary relationships, create financial and emotional wealth, embracing entrepreneurship in the new earth. to the Cornelia Stephanie show. I'm so excited, everyone. Thank you so much for listening and for being here. I have a wonderful, wonderful topic and show planned for you today. We're going to, it's going to actually go from suicide to miracle worker extraordinaire. I'm going to be sharing uh, my story, a little bit of my story in the first segment of the show today, because it's National Suicide Month this month. And do you know that National Suicide Month happens every year in September? And I thought about this the other day and I thought, why does it, why is National Suicide Month happening in September? You know, what's, who, who designed that? Who came up with that? What's the deal behind it? Because it was over 25 something years ago when I was at my lowest point in my life. And I wanted to, that was my one and final time where I was going to give life, God, the universe, one last chance to see if I could actually stay because I was going to, that was going to be the one and final time because what happened over the course of my life is I would come up to these time periods in my life where all of a sudden I would want to commit suicide. So it was a core wound for me. It was a core wound. And at at the time I didn't, you know, I wasn't conscious. I didn't realize all I know is that I was in so much pain. I was in so much pain and I just wanted out. And what I realized today is that when people want to take their life, when they want to commit suicide, it's not because they want to harm themselves or they want to kill themselves. What it is they want to do is they want to kill the pain. That's really what you want to kill is you want to be done with the pain, the feeling of the pain of it's just being too much. So back September 17th of 1993, when I had, when I was, on my hands and knees. And I said, you know, to the universe, to God, to whoever is out there that's listening, that I can't find you anywhere in the churches. I can't, I don't know what's true. I don't know who to believe. I don't know what's going on, but I can't do this anymore. I just can't do this anymore. And that is when I pleaded, I surrendered my life. And I said, if you exist, you, God, universe, source, whatever you want to call it. If you exist, I want to feel you. I want to feel you. And if I feel you, then I know that there is a purpose to this madness yes. and that there is a reason for this. If I feel you, then I could, then I could do it, but I, I don't know where to go. And that is actually when the feeling paradigm was born in 1993. So there were a lot of people like me at that time that were faced with huge, huge changes in their life because over the years, we've all been suppressing our emotional 
suppressions, repressed emotions. We've been suppressing so much in this paradigm, you know, prior to 1993. It actually happened in 1997 during the harmonic convergence is actually when it began. And at that time, I wasn't ready yet. I was still very much in my drug abuse. I was still, I was a, a drug addict for many years. And part of the reason why I was a drug addict, I realized too, that the reason why I was a drug addict is because I was trying to numb my pain. There was so much pain from my childhood, from being sexually abused, to uh, not having my emotional needs met, to having to take care of my family from the time I was a young girl, to seeing my mother get beaten, 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 beaten by her boyfriends, to never having enough food in the house to be taken care of. So the things that I was experiencing by the time I was an adult, by the time I was an adult, there was just so much pain, you know, it, in this kettle is what I called it. My body was like a kettle filled with pain. And there was just so much too. So I became a drug addict. You know, you, you, I, I did one time, I took a hit of crack cocaine back in the day when my boyfriend, who I was deeply, deeply in love with. We, we, were, we were together for 14 years. And when, one, when he started doing it, right, he, he brought it home. And at first, for the first like three months or so, I wasn't even into it at all. I was not into it at all because I was afraid of drugs. I was, you know, I, I was just afraid of it. But in order for me, I was losing my boyfriend. I was losing him. And so in order for me to connect with him, I ended up doing it too. That's really what happened. Now today, looking back, I'm going, wow, that was a journey, you know? And it was interesting because crack cocaine is so addictive. It took one hit, one time, one time. And after that, I'm an addict now. I had a very successful career. Very, I had a very successful job. I was a regional operations director in a company, and I had very because I've always been one of these people that that has has built myself up to a huge success. And prior to realizing that um, I also know how to self sabotage, I would destroy everything I would build. So that's part of the the the, the lesson, part of the learning. Because even people look at me today. People look at me today and they go, they can never believe that. People look at me and they think, this is, I hear this all the time. They go, you're so successful. You're such a, you know, radio TV personality. You have such a great personality. You're so beautiful. You have everything. You have so much money. You have all of these things. But people don't realize where I came from, that I was at the brink of suicide. And that's why I wanted to open up the, the show today in honor that, Hey, if you are finding yourself in a situation right now where you are wanting to end your life or you're feeling like you just can't take one more step or, and go one more time or whatever, that you are just tired, I totally get it. And I understand. And everybody that's listening to the Cornelia Stephanie show today that, uh, that is having a hard time I'm going to open up private mentoring with me for free. So you can contact me, private message me on Facebook. If you're listening to this message, then I will, I will put you into uh, a private call with me and there will be private mentoring because, you know, it's a loss. If you kill yourself, if anyone kills themselves, you know, like who are the, 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 the famous people, Robin Williams, right? I mean, this is the thing, you know, he was, I truly, you know, tuning into his energy, tuning into his, um, his life is that he, he just, you know, he was so famous. He was so well known. He just didn't have anybody to hold that space for him so that he can really truly unveil himself about what's really bothering him at the core of his depression. And that's the thing, you know, depression is anger turned inward. Depression is anger turned inward. And so when, when, when I work with people and people are depressed, you know what I have them do? I have them get really, really pissed off. You know why? Because if the, the energy is down in your root 
and it's depressed and you're paralyzed and you can't move because you have no life force energy because you're depressed and you can't move and you can't get off the couch. But if I get you pissed off enough and we move that energy up into your solar plexus and bring that life force energy up to have you bring that energy up into anger and bring that anger up, not to harm someone and not to harm yourself, but to really fully use the, the, the source of energy, life force energy that we all have. And so that's why I wanted to open up this call today with sharing my private story to let you know that you too, wherever you are, can overcome suicide just like I have. You can uh, let that old life of yours die. It will be a loss for the planet if you take your life. It will be a loss because you came here to succeed. You came here to win. You came here to add value and contribute. And we came to benefit from you, not the other way around. So I employ everyone. I urge everyone, anyone that's out there that's struggling with suicidal thoughts, suicide, depression, anything like that. You can overcome this because you're speaking to a person that has overcome it. And I tell you, after that time period, that September 17th of 1993, I have never had those thoughts again. I have never had it because I had an intimate experience with the Holy Spirit. And once you have that, you can never go back. And part of the reason why this is so great is that is when the feeling paradigm was born and now so many people are releasing their suppressed emotions. They're releasing their feelings because we came here to feel. And we have to feel to heal the pain and the suppression of our past. And it's a lot of, lot of pain to feel. There's a lot to deal with. There's a lot to deal with because we have our parents, we have our lives, we have our boyfriends, we have our betrayals, we have our abandonments, we have our not worthies and not good enoughs. We have all those things to feel heal but we heal through contrast and i can tell you that uh there is a reason why you came there's a reason to live and don't give up on on that so right now we have a full moon in pisces this weekend and this is the perfect time all those people out there that are thinking about uh nothing works I don't have my success. I don't have my money. I don't have this opportunity. I don't have it. I tried so many things and nothing works. I invite you to release all of those old beliefs. These are all old beliefs. None of it is true. Everything works. Everything works. Everything works. And there is a solution for everything. You just have to move yourself into that space and be open to the solution. Be open to the answer to your prayer. It's all there for you. So the National Suicide Line is 1-800-273-8255. And there's a reason why they have a National Suicide Line, because those people are 24-7 on call for anyone that's in a crisis period, or also anyone that wants to work with me privately on their suicide uh, thoughts. Is this my free gift to you? I am going to make special time available for anybody that has that. That's my special gift. We're going to take a break on the Cornelia Stephanie show. And when we come back, we're going to talk about financial pie. We'll be right back. Are you an entrepreneur who's struggling to be seen? Do you know deep in your gut that if you could just be seen and get your message out, that you'd easily reach your tribe? How wonderful would it be if a fairy godmother came along waved her magic wand, and suddenly you were more than visible. You were dazzling. Would you sign up for that? Hi, I'm Deborah Lupien, spiritual teacher and international best-selling author of Akasha Unleashed, The Missing Manual to You. I'm here with the wonderful news that such a person actually exists. Her name is Cornelia Stephanie, and she's gifted at helping entrepreneurs become dazzling. I've watched her work her magic over and over to turn invisible entrepreneurs into dazzling stars who easily attract their ideal clients and have fun doing it. Not long ago, I was the recipient of her gift. As a guest on her show, Living Heaven on Earth, 
not only did we have fun, but Cornelia helped me get my message out to a wider audience, which resulted in a very nice spike of traffic to my website and more subscribers to my list. Did I mention it was incredibly easy? Cornelia's running a veritable media empire of uplifting programs. They cover a broad range of topics and have a large appreciative audience. That's a winning combination, folks. Guess what? Those shows need guests and hosts. Imagine, after guesting on a few shows, moving up to hosting your own popular show? That is absolutely possible for you. So now you have a decision to make. Are you going to keep struggling on your own? Or are you going to sign up for some Cornelia Stephanie dazzling visibility magic? Email radio at corneliastephanie.com today. Thank you everyone for listening and for tuning into the Cornelia Stephanie show. It's an honor and a pleasure to be here with you. I value and appreciate everyone that tunes into us and that engages with us and that participates with us. I would like to invite everyone on a call to action to whenever you're listening to this video, uh, whenever you receive it, when you go to my YouTube channel at Cornelia Stephanie YouTube, you're going to see this video. And it's most likely going to be there by Monday. So, but what I would love for everybody to do, how you can help me out, is I would love for you to comment underneath the video on anything that you list, heard, heard today that touched you, on anything that really moved you. I would love to have that uh, communication with you and, 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 and make a comment. And I would also love it if you would like uh, and, and hit that notification bell on YouTube. And the reason why that's important is because I'm building my YouTube channel. And in order for me to become a partner with YouTube, I have to have a thousand followers that are with me there. And I don't have that yet. And so I would love your engagement, all those faithful listeners. A lot of people listen but they don't, they don't engage and they don't comment and they don't let me know that they're there. And so I would love it if you would do that. It would mean so much to me. Thank you so much for doing that. So here's uh, what we're getting ready to go into this next um, piece of the call today of this, of this amazing show is that I lead a Wealthy Roots for Women's Mastermind. And I lead this group every two weeks. It's every two weeks on Wednesday. It's $33 a month for that mastermind or it's $396 a year to be part of that, that tribe. And what I do there is I bring leading edge entrepreneurs to that call so that they can have a safe place to share their passions, to share their uh, message, their, their, um, their gifts, and also get valuable feedback and referrals uh, from our group. And it's also a mentoring and a healing place because we bring spirituality into it as well. So because most of the women are, you know, that are part of that are really on, on a spiritual level. So we do healing and all of that. So this last past Wednesday, which was just a few days ago, one of my leaderships uh, for that day was I wanted to bring on uh, to help have the women do their financial pie. What, what is their financial pie? Because what, one of the things that the Wealthy Roots is about is building legacies, building legacies, building our empires, leaving legacies that we can be proud of. So if you, anyone that is listening to this wants to be considered to be part of that call, please private message me as well to be considered to be part of that because there is a special uh, you know, link for that. So, uh, so anyway, I had the ladies make their pie. And so I did a show recently with uh, confidence coach, Susan Axelrod. And if you haven't seen Susan and don't know anything about Susan, I mean, She's awesome. So her and I did the show on the Millionaire Imprint for Women because we were talking about, is 2020 going to be your next $100,000 a year? And what are you going to do with $8,333 per month? That was what the show was about. And that's the exact structure that I used to create the Millionaire Imprint for Women. 
what are you going to do with $83,333 per month? That's the exact structure. So it was so perfect. So there's some women that are ready, that are ready to take on that $100,000 blueprint because they're ready now to be passionate in their business to be able to sell what it is that they're doing because you have to be a good, good seller. Why? Because there's so much competition out there. So many people. There's so many people out there that are all out there that are entrepreneurs. So you have to be able to be really good at selling what it is that you do. And that's part of the Wealthy Roots training as well. So I had uh, everybody do their pie. And that's what we want to do today. We want to do our pie here today. So everybody get out a piece of paper and get a pen. And I want everyone to do their financial pie. Kat, I want you to do it too. You're listening, my producer here. I want you to be part of this and I want you to do it too. And the other thing I'd love you to do, Kat, is I would love you to play that video clip for us now that I had, that I played the other day on My Wealthy Roots. It's, 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 it's good to know what you would do with the money. But today we're talking about $8,333 per month. How do we make that real? How do we make that real, Susan, in 2020? Okay, here's the tool. So I want to invite you uh, to grab a piece of paper and a pen. And don't worry, this show is recorded and podcasted so on Cornelia's YouTube channel. So don't worry if you miss anything. Grab a paper and pen. We are in September. We are talking about the portal closing of 2019. A portal, an entire decade is closing and a new portal is opening. Your portal of prosperity, your portal of abundance, your portal of wealth. And so that's how we want to be thinking about this. But very simply, I want you to make on a piece of paper, this is my high tech stuff, Cornelia, I'm showing for the people who see us on Facebook, just write down my budget and make a circle that looks that's going to be look like a pie. It's going to be three or four inches in diameter. That's all. And on the page, write my income. Now, what I, I implore you, please understand the benefit of having multiple sources of income. For women, please understand, if you have a job and you lose that job, you lose your income, right? But if we have multiple sources of income, a few or many if you want, then if one dips down a little bit, another can go up. If you lose one revenue source, you can have you have others. That is your security. That is your stability. Now, what are the multiple sources of income? Maybe um, each one is going to be a pie slice. So for some people, there may be here. I'm writing it down. A pie slice that's twenty five percent. One thing that you do might generate 25%, 2468, about $2,000 a month, right? There may be multiple slices. For most people, they have a job and it's 100% of the pie. We want to encourage you. Many people today have that side hustle going on, right? Multi level marketing. They make crafts and sell crafts. They do dog walking as a wag walker, whatever it is. There may be a thin slice of your pie for that, right? It may be. It may be like another thin slice of the pie where you're doing a side hustle or some extra gig to generate income, right? Maybe that's a few hundred dollars a month or 500 or whatever it is. This is your financial pie, your income pie, okay? This is your visual. It's simple. It is completely simple. So we want to encourage you to do this exercise. If you have one big fat pie, 100% coming from a career paycheck, good, I'm happy for you. But maybe you want to think about what is a way that I could create a little slice 
of additional income or many slices doing various things. So Cornelia, how did I do there? Did you get me on the income pie with the multiple sources of income? Yeah, I love that. So does everybody have their pie? And part of the reason why I shared the pie making is because the entrepreneur is on the rise. And that is we are in, you know, the entrepreneur is on the rise and going anywhere from the age of 16 to the age of 90. Uh, that's really what is happening. And so how we can strengthen and empower ourselves and strengthen our financial footprints, it's up to each and every one of us to do so. So one of the women that I invited to be a guest speaker on my platform to introduce uh, them to the Wealthy Roots for Women is Diane Solano. And I want to tell you uh, the reason why I invited her is for many reasons. And I want you to get your takeaway for this today. What your takeaway is, is because you're going to see this woman so passionate, so passionate about what it is that she does, about her product, her vision, her mission, about uh, her goals, her financial goal. When I asked her the other day, what is her financial goal? She said she's working on her millionaire footprint right now, but then she already has her next after and it's a million dollars a month. So to have that kind of passion, that is what's going to succeed. And I absolutely 100% know that this woman is going to succeed. That's the passion that you women, everyone that is listening to this call today, that's what you all need to be doing for your business, for whatever you're doing, whether you're doing what Diane's doing or whatever you're doing, it doesn't matter, but whatever you're doing, you need to be selling like that selling like that. And if you would like to be considered to be a guest on the Cornelia Stephanie show, you can contact me. So let me introduce you to Diane. Who is she? She's a new co-host of mine too, by the way, and she's going to be on the first Friday every single month on the Lady Boss podcast. And that's going to be uh, first Friday in October. Uh, and it's going to be from 1 p.m. Pacific time to 2 p.m. So make sure that you check us out because she is a game changer. Let me tell you about her. Diane Solano is a registered orthomolecular nutritional consultant practitioner. She has expanded her pie into wealth creation, being a diamond partner and distributor for Organo worldwide. In less than five years, she generated a sales volume of over 2 million. She's a single mom. She lives in Toronto, Canada. She has a young son. And she currently works with Dr. Joe Dispenza and has worked with world-renowned Colette Baron reed and many other Hay House authors over the years. So it's an honor and a pleasure to welcome you to the Cornelia Stephanie Show, Diane. Thank you so much. What a pleasure and an honor. And, you know, I, I forget sometimes <laughs> on all the things I've, um, I've just been passionate about doing that. It's just naturally progressed and moved forward. And really for me, you know, I got tired of trading time for money. That's just my truth. 20 years in the industry of health and wellness, loved helping people get healthy and strong. I really believe that if your body's not working right, if you physically don't feel well, you can't perform the same way. I don't care what it is you're doing. You know, if you're not rested and, and recovered and, and nourished, you're not going to perform the same way, whether you're a parent, you know, your parenting goes down, um, your partnerships, your relationships suffer, you know, you could be a great CEO of a company, you got to be traveling time zones, you know, whatever it is, performance gets affected because of this physical vehicle. And 20 years of just doing many different um, entrepreneurial projects was a lot of fun. And I was driven by passion. The wake up call for me happened. Uh, when I decided to become a mom, I took a self-paid maternity leave, loved every moment, but Cornelia, life threw me a curveball. You know, I became a single parent and that's when the pain showed up the, the groundhog day. Like, why am I here again? You know, betrayal, anger, what, what, what energy, what frequency am I consistently calling in? Like what's going on? And the wake up call for me was what am I going to do financially? to sustain a future and create real wealth for myself. You see, right now, there's so many beautiful um, side hustles. 
we've got, you know, Uber, we've got Airbnb, we've got many different entrepreneurial aspects. And we're so blessed to be at a time and age right now, especially as women, to have all these options. But I knew that I didn't want to train time for money anymore. I wanted true wealth, wealth creation, residual income. I didn't know that's what I was looking for. I just knew I needed a guaranteed business model that wouldn't require capital because that's what I didn't have. I didn't have the traditional stocks, real estate, um, you know, go back to school. Like I needed a guaranteed outcome, a guaranteed um, financial print that would set me free because I wanted freedom from, from, from time. I wanted time freedom. I wanted location freedom. I wanted emotional freedom. I didn't want to be dependent on anyone or anything ever again. And for me, that was just came into the answer of a company that was a network marketing company called Organo. I wasn't actively looking for one. I didn't even know much about them. I just knew that anything you do in life, and I, I really encourage this for any listener on the call, if you want to succeed in any area, follow people that are actually getting the results you want. The worst thing you can do is ask the advice of someone who's never de been down the same path as you already. So I seeked out advice from the world uh, expert of mine who's mentored me for many, many years and mentored thousands. Dr. Bob Rakowski is a leading expert. He speaks for metagenics. He's a doctor to the doctors, world athletes. Everyone flies around to get treated by him. He was actually doing a lecture for Toron in Toronto for a company called metagenics. And I approached him on break and I said, Dr. Rakowski, here's my life. I am scared. I don't have money. I don't have security. I don't have time and I don't have capital. How am I going to stay in this industry and actually make money? And he said, I never heard of Organo. And I said, no. And he said, look, three and a half years, I'm making more with this than I have traveling around the world because I have time freedom back. And as soon as I heard from that, that I trusted him, knew he was a great business partner, already successful, I knew for a fact that if I just did what he did, there was no way I could fail. Now, what I especially loved was that this man, very humble, very focused, was providing a blueprint for me to follow it. And that's all I did. I was hungry and I was coachable. And that's usually what it takes to succeed in entrepreneurship. But here's what I also know that, you know, people, you know, you have to understand the difference between asset income and earned income because time is a new currency. Are you trading time for what you're doing? Uber drivers, nothing wrong with that. A lot of people have that extra cash. It's great. But if you're not driving someone, you're not making the money. So this solopreneurship concept, I lived it for 20 years. I got tired of wearing the hat of the accountant, tired of wearing the hat of the you know, janitor, the secretary, uh, the web designer, like I'm done. Can I focus on one thing that I'm good at? And can I have a team around of people rally and benefit if I succeed? Can we become a culture and a community that succeed together? And what I wanted found me, because that's what Dr. Joe Dispenza always says, what you want is looking for you. We are vibration, we are energy, money is energy but time is not. And I knew that already because I lived it. And now that I know what I know today, I wish I knew about this, you know, at least 10 years ago, but I, hey, divine timing, right? So for me, I was very clear that I didn't want to trade time for money anymore. I wanted to create true wealth and true wealth really boils down to, you know, is your money working for you? Is your time working for you? Are your networks working for you? Are you leveraging what you do? Because everything in life has a trend, but there's always going to be competition. There's always going to be new things coming into the marketplace. And multiple sources of income is really where it's at, Cornelia. So this is where I am today because, yes, I wanted to be empowered. I wanted to help people get healthier and stronger. This is what the product does. It's an organo product infused with Ganoderma lucidum. It's a superfood that's in coffee and tea. How cool is that? How many coffee drinkers on this call? How many tea drinkers on this call? How many of you guys are actually doing this habit every day, irrelevant of the brand, but imagine for every sip that you took of coffee and tea, you were getting nourished because that's what this company did was they put a superfood in their beverages, which was brilliant because I spent years telling people to take supplements and vitamins and minerals and getting healthier and in come this company that provided a coffee that was pH neutral because by the way, you know, acidity is not good for the body and that's what I did for years, giving people alkaline diets. Um, another thing that it did was it was great at reducing body inflammation, helping, helping brain chemistry. You know, you opened up today's call so beautifully and vulnerably. Cornelia, thank you for sharing that because it is suicide month and we do have to be aware that, you know, we're so many people don't have, you know, their story written on their forehead. We don't know what happens behind closed doors. And we know that in some cases and not all, but in some cases, some people actually experiencing a better coffee were actually mentally performing better, whether it was mental focus, 
whether we were driving more serotonin, because studies show that this superfood in the coffee does that, that's the feel good, happy hormone. So there could be a chemical imbalance, you know, are we driving too much stress? Stress is going to raise glutamate, reduce GABA, the coffee naturally titrates your, your brain chemistry. So people just trading out, you know, whether it was McDonald's or Timmy's or Starbucks, just for, you know, the duration of a box one day, all of a sudden coming back going, wow, I feel so much better. What is that? And where can I get more? So this product took a life of its own. Again, I had no background in network marketing. I was hungry and coachable. And I wanted time with my son. I wanted to be able to be free and I wanted a new life. So like you, Cornelia, you know, pain drives behavior and you can either let the pain sink you down or you could face it and decide that you want something so different and you're so powerful. Everyone on this call is so powerful. The mere fact that you're here today means you've already beat the odds of being on this earth right? How many, how many millions of cells are trying to be, you know, turn into, into actual little babies today. It's not that easy. So everyone on this call is, is, is a wonderful divine being and you can create the life of your dreams. So get really clear on what you want. But this model to me was, was everything. And that's, that's was the beginning of my journey. Tell us a little bit about, tell us a little bit more, just a couple more minutes about uh, the success of the, the coffee, like, cause you, your assistant had sent me some samples. I got a chance to test it out. Right. And yes. I was skeptical, right. I was skeptical because, uh, I'm a coffee drinker. And as I, as I spoke about in my opening story is I was a drug addict. I smoked, you know, did the alcohol thing and, and all, all of that. Right. So, when, when you're say, saying to me, you know, give up my coffee, it's like, no, freaking no. Way. that's the last thing in the world that I'm going to give up. I will not do that. Right. So I was like, oh, I don't know about this, you know? So anyway, I received this beautiful box and in the box, I got, you know, these little packets of black coffee that that's were like, it. there was that. And then I've got, I've got the decaf and the regular, and then I got um, hot cocoa. And then I got, um, Supreme latte, Supreme, uh, Supreme coffee. And then I got a latte. And so I got all these different things that I got a chance to try out. And I tried out the black coffee because you did say, you know, to just try it out and let my body, let my body speak to me. And what I discovered is that I literally like after about three or four days is when I noticed the acidity in my, in my stomach was um, gone uh, because I drink two cups. My, my morning coffee cup is just a little bit bigger than this cup. So I drink two cups. It's my, it's my, 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 um, my thing, two cups like this. And um, so, and I started feeling better. Right. And so, and then I was like, okay, well, I'm going to, I'm going to keep drinking this coffee and not until, uh, yesterday, not until yesterday when we were on the wealthy roots call, I guess that was in two days ago. Did mm -hmm. I, did I really fully, um, you know, even reveal to myself that, yeah, I'm totally a hundred percent all in with being a distributor on this as well, because I want to support other people. And so this morning, just this morning, I signed up and I became a gold distributor. And I'm going to um, also use this to support many other people, including myself. And um, this is going to be one slice of my pie. So tell us a little bit more about the coffee. Okay, so wow, my practice and my background is in health and wellness and nutrition. And what I realized was I knew nothing about direct sales. I knew actually not much about sales. I just knew that I was passionate about helping people. And when you're passionate about helping people, sales can actually follow you. What I learned to do was I learned to be a good shares person, a good person to share a better choice. You see, this was a habit people were already doing. And I spent years telling them to stop and they didn't like me because yes, the coffee drinker never plans to stop. And actually 66 to 70% of the world drinks coffee. Now the company does make teas, they make hot chocolate, they make all kinds of beverages because the Ganoderma lucidum, which by the way, is a medicinal mushroom extract, that's what's actually in the coffee. I actually have one here today because sometimes people wanna know what it looks like, right? So this is a medicinal mushroom that traditionally has been around for thousands and thousands of years. The company figured out a way to make it taste good and process it in a way that was really de not denatured, put it in a cup of coffee because they said, look, people actually forget to drink or take their supplements. 
How many of us on the call take vitamins and minerals and remember to take it every day religiously? What if what we did with, with every single sip, we we're getting anti-inflammatory effects because we have published medical journals that actually show with studies, PubMed IDs are actual scientific reviews. You can, re, re, you can actually Google Ganodermalucidum published medical facts, you know, PubMed. Is it good for, for joint pain and swelling and inflammation? How does it work with the immune system? Put in the condition. How does it work with many different conditions? This is how Ganoderma lucidum that's been around for thousands of years functions in the body. So what we teach in nutrition is that bodies never lie. So people drinking the product all of a sudden realize their hormone balance was better. Why? Ganoderma lucidum helps with detoxification of the liver. You process um, estrogens along your liver pathways. You also process caffeine along your liver pathway. So you're not going to get the caffeine spike in jitters, which most people get when they drink coffee. You're going to get this long-term sustainable energy. Um, they also, you know, were really good at saying, hey, you know what? There is a need for people to actually want to reduce their stress load. So this was that whole GABA glutamate cascade we talked about. When you manage cortisol release, when you manage um, less anxiety, more sustainable, smooth mental focus, now you have someone that's more balanced, the side effect of getting healthier internally, better hormones, better detox, less stress, uh, better sleep quality. The side effect of that is weight loss or enhanced body composition, I should say, because it's really about maintaining more muscle mass and actually losing fat mass. And there's lots of reasons besides people actually gaining weight. So when people were drinking this coffee, my clients, my friends, my patients were drinking it. 60, 80% loved it because A, it tasted amazing. B, so easy to make. Sachets, pre-brewed Brazilian Arabic beans in here. You cut it open, you add it to hot water, you stir, you get a little crema on top, just like you would an espresso if you want it that strong. You add a little more water if you want it weaker. But people were actually taking a sip, saving money, by the way, because it was more cost of to drink this than it was to have a make cafe. It's about a dollar retail for the black. A uh, dollar seventy-five for their king, which is their uh, high-end organic uh, spore line, and two different flavor profiles. But nonetheless, it was more cost-effective. So now I had people saving money. I had people doing what they always did with no guilt, guilt-free habit that were actually neutralizing their bodies. It's pH neutral. Regular coffee is a pH of five. When you add Ganoderma, that's highly alkaline to the coffee, and every sip you're getting alkalinity because the pH on this product is about a 7 to 7.2 depending on the type of water you use so we want clean water of course clean sources of water that's always going to up the game so it being more cost effective being healthier being tasting delicious people couldn't go back to their old brands so this became a natural progression and people wanted the product so badly that we had actually sold out in toronto about two months ago we had shortened our supply of king i had angry people <laughs> when's the king coming back because you couldn't get this anywhere else. There was no competition for it. So the company said, look, we're not going to do the typical, you know, billions of dollars in commercials and sales and put them on the shelves everywhere. What if we gave a person who was passion hungry, who could share coffee and follow up, an opportunity to create the life of their dreams? And the company started to expand and grow and they started to offer different levels of support and initiatives around the world. So they actually partnered with IBM. IBM, by the way, has actually partnered with 47 out of the 50 top 500 companies. They looked at the product, they said, oh my God, this is huge. They're creating something called a food trust tracking system, which means for every lot of coffee you get, you can find the, the lot number at the bottom, you can put it in the app, find out all the certifications, it's kosher, it's GMP certified, it's, it's halal, many level certification organic. You can find out the farm where that coffee bean was grown. You can find out the name of the farmer and his family that grew it for you, and you can tip them if you want. That means we actually spread the wealth amongst many. It's not just one-sided. This is where the new um, entrepreneur and growth of all markets are starting to head into the direction of community and, and technology that if you use intelligently and right and with love, everybody lings al uh, wins along the production chain. So yeah. that's what happened. Yeah. Super powerful. So it's it's beautiful. I love I love all hearing all of this, uh, how it how how it spreads out, you know, and how the, the where it's coming from, because a lot of times as consumers, we don't know where where things are coming from, but we're becoming more um, curious and, and, you know, knowing where it's coming from is really helpful. So here's the thing we have um, eight minutes, nine minutes on this show left. 
that, um, so I'm, I'm letting you know this, Diane, because we have nine minutes left. I want to be able to communicate in, in nine minutes um, the next thing that we want the audience to hear right now today. I want to talk about the, the, the global reach with Organo. Yeah. Uh, I want to talk about that. And then I want to talk about the opportunity for others. And we also have a, a guest here today that uh, we want to share her little experience with um, the, you know, um, yeah. So let's just, let's just do that. Does that sound good? It sounds perfect. So what I really got excited about this was my story as a single mom, single woman, um, you know, I just, I felt the pain of, of what it takes to actually put my life together again. And I found a vehicle that helped me. What I loved about this company is that, you know, even though we are 11 years old, so no one knows about us yet, we haven't hit critical mass. We're already in 35 countries around the world. No known toxicity, no known interaction with medication and the superfoods. So we have kids on it, pets on it, like you name it. So that's great. But I especially love that now we're helping women in Africa because we have a depot in Africa, women in Africa, men in Africa, families in Africa. We're actually now getting on the product and changing their lives. Women in South America and women in Asia, um, you know, we're in Europe. But when you have, you know, North America, we're really blessed, truly. We have so many options, not the same down there. You know, my, my original heritage is from South America. I know what a family, you know, in South America with an extra two, three hundred bucks a woman in Africa with two, 300 bucks, she will change generations. When we started having the women in Africa actually sell sachets, because that's what they were doing. And wow. people were having the profound health shifts because they don't have what we have here. Their conditions are not the same. And we had women changing their lives, no longer needing to put up with things they didn't have to put up with anymore. You know, not having to worry about medical, putting food on the table, that changes generations. Because now she's modeling, for, she's empowering herself. Think about the ripple effect. So the company was brilliant. And this is where we're going into the new phase of growth, um, especially for me personally, was that taking that and exploding this and helping millions around the world to just share better options that they're going to do anyways. And they're going to have so many doors open to them from health, from financial to self-empowerment, you know, to high frequency, high vibration. That's exactly where we're at and where we're heading into. So I love your partnership. Welcome. Thank Cornelia, because you. you are a platform to help change the world. And anyone on this call that decides to partner with you, partners with me, because we're a community, we're going to be having many talks, bringing on women from other parts of the world to help spread the word and change the world through entrepreneurship, through love, compassion, through health, and through a vision. Yeah, yeah, very good. Tell us about Richard Branson. Okay, so the company says, listen, if you have, you're hungry, you're coachable, and you want to connect with us, if from now until December, you hit a certain amount of, of volume within your team, again, incentives teach you in any business, if you have a target, this is how you're going to grow. You need targets if you're running a business. And if you're on this call and you have one and you don't have a target, you need to get one. Yeah. Organo is the same. We have targets. You want to win. Here's what you got to go. Here's what you got to do. So there's a target that if you qualify for it, and Cornelia, I know you will be there with me, um, you get invited to Richard Branson's private island. Um, it's called Necker Island. And you're going to learn how to apply wealth creation. The company pays for everything because they want their top earners like myself and Cornelia, who's now on the forefront of the growing, fantastic, empowered women of Organo who are changing the world. We want to show women like us and other individuals, not just women, but you know, this is where the power came from for me, how to actually generate wealth using income. Because what happens with a lot of top earners, Cornelia, is they don't know how to spend their money. So they're buying things and doing things they shouldn't be when they could be focusing on wealth creation. How do you make your money work for you? Why not learn from the top billionaire in the world? How often do we get invited to Richard Branson's Island? Can I ask you that? Yeah. And if you ask about the company, they partner with IBM. They're on Think and Grow Rich Napoleon Hill. So I have a book of theirs. Our logo is actually on their books because yeah. we, were, we were actually able to duplicate wealth in less than five years in most network marketing, if not all of them around the world, not to downfall any of them because everyone's powerful. But this is where Organo is going. And we've partnered with you know, IBM and Richard Branson is inviting us over. What does that tell you? It tells you a lot. It speaks volumes. Oh, that's so huge. I mean, Richard Branson has been on my vision board for many years. So it's coming true. But this, this is what's so great about it. So I just want to say something about network marketing, what I've been hearing from people over the last four days. And everyone that's listening, this is what I want you all to do. Since we have a Pisces full moon, release the belief that nothing works. Release the belief that you're not good at network marketing. Forget about that whole stigma, network marketing, I'm not good at it. 
release that belief because what it is that what's the truth that you're not good at is you're not good at selling and you haven't been passionate about selling the product selling whatever it is that you're doing whether it's selling something in your own business whatever that is because that's truly the reason why i brought diane to the wealthy roots because of her passion because she's so passionate and she this it's like when you see the truth and you hear the truth you know it and that's what I want you to do is release the belief that it's not working and subscribe to the belief that everything that you do has value. Everything that you do works. And if you apply yourself 100%, you will get out of it 100%, if not even more. The key is to align yourself with making sure it's something that you're passionate about, that you feel good about, and then sell your ass off sell your ass off that's what i'm saying yes <laughs> anyway um so network marketing uh we had someone actually a, a guest here today that also wanted to um you want to share with us diane the experience of the email that that you all shared wonderful yes so you know and and when i start speaking about network marketing i had to get educated in it it's a real viable business inheritable asset by the way so you know it's not only income for yourself but you can actually will it out to two generations down when I started learning about the industry I got really clear that it's very misunderstood and when I started to understand that I started to speak from it from a more intelligent standpoint and I always taught every new distributor joining the team that they had to get educated in this area you know it's not a lottery ticket it's 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 a real viable business um, and you could really change the trajectory of your life you just have to understand it People think it's a lottery and, and I sign up and it's all good. And therefore it's a pyramid scheme. It's this, it's that. It's none of that. When you understand this, this is such a powerful note. So when we got off the call, I got a beautiful email. A lot of questions actually came towards me, but one email specifically stood out to me because it spoke from not only the effectiveness of direct sales. It's been around for thousands, for thousands, for hunt for at least 20 years. <laughs> um, but I heard from a powerhouse woman who impressed me, you know, the mother of Savannah Rose, and I just want to highlight, because I know this woman and what she went through to be where she was at in the 70s, earning like at least 10, 7 to 10K residual, residual in her sleep, high touch, belly to belly with no internet, no technology. And her, her mother was able to crush it in the 70s. Now, with all the tools we have, you know, this is a no brainer, but I especially it, it touch home with Savannah because. I think Savannah really understood the model. So if you don't mind, Savannah, maybe welcome to the call and sharing the email that you sent me just for those maybe listening and, and having all kinds of internal thoughts. And we have two minutes, guys, before we're done. So I'll, okay. go quick. I'll be quick. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Cornelia, for having me on the show. Um, I never expected this. So <laughs> excuse the hair. Um, so in, anyway, uh, I, I was on the call that Cornelia was talking about a couple of days ago, Wealthy Roots, and that's where I met Diana, Diane, and heard all about Organo and how passionate she is about it. And I, what I wanted to say is that I came from a Mary Kay household. My mom started selling Mary Kay in the first year that Mary Kay was around. That was like 60 something, 66, I think, 1966. And a year later, she was queen of sales. And a few years after that, she was driving a pink, a, a pink Cadillac. In fact, I learned how to drive in a pink Cadillac, a 1973 pink Cadillac, huge thing. Anyway, so I knew a lot about uh, multi-level marketing because of that. And my mom did really well. She was making about $7,000 a month in the, in the 70s. That's, that's, I don't know how much that is in today's money. Um, the interesting thing is... Uh, yeah. To go. Sorry about that, everybody. Uh, what's the call to action, Diane? What do we want people to do? Well, I okay, so more information. I signed up. I signed up for this because of that. That's my point. Is this was so good? I signed up. That's wonderful. That's exactly it. We are yeah. out of time. We are okay. out of time. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for listening. Bye bye. Awesome. Bye bye. Hi, my name is Janet Hickox, and I want to tell you a little story about a story and how my friend Cornelia Stephanie helped me through to the other end of that story. I have gone from the dark of a story I was telling myself that wasn't true to the light of optimism to see my way out of where I was and to where I want to go. And it all started with uh, her scheduling a session for me to help me reclaim my money 
or my financial empowerment. Up until that point, I had been telling the story that my business was dying, that my business was not successful anymore. And the more I tried to figure out what was going on, the worse I felt about it. And when I had to get ready to do the session with Cornelia, she asked me to go look at the numbers and where I was uh, through the year to date. And then also to come prepared with a number that I wanted to uh, raise my income to. Well, I was quite comfortable with that part, right? I knew where I wanted to be. Uh, what I wasn't comfortable with doing is going and looking up those numbers. But I made myself do it, even though I tried to backpedal my way out of the session. Um, she didn't know that, but I was going to try to get myself out of the session. And I looked up those numbers. And it was incredible that I discovered through that process that my business wasn't dying. In fact, I was doing 12% better than I had the year before. So I was shocked. I was shocked literally at the power of the story that I had been telling for months. But more than that, I was shocked that I had allowed myself to get there. And uh, later in that day when I had my session with Cornelia, she pointed out some very obvious things like, how are you going to get where you want to go if you don't know where you want to go? How are you going to get there if you don't have the goals written out, if you don't have it uh, set up so that you know where you are and where you're going to go? Totally makes sense, right? If I, and I had been in business, uh, somebody else's business as a sales manager for years, and I, I was a national sales manager. I had awards for sales management. I had business awards because of numbers. And yet when it came to doing my own business, I totally forgot all that I'd ever learned. So by the time Cornelia working with me in just one session, got me to look deeper at the numbers and where did I want to go and actually, you know, claiming where I wanted to go. Um, I was filled with a sense of optimism and hope. Like you can't believe it was like, everything shifted for me. And I am so looking forward to our continued sessions to see how far I can really push myself to get where, I, where I've where i only dreamed of being, where I've never taken the dream and actually brought it into concrete existence. So thank you, Cornelia, for the work that you're doing out there. I appreciate it and I can't wait to see where I go from here. You've been listening to The Cornelia Stephanie Show, Wake Up To Love, Your Call To Action. Tune in each week on Transformation Talk Radio. Cornelia's joy is to engage others in practical ways, showing us how to live in the new earth in harmony with our true nature. For more information on Cornelia and her extraordinary work, or to listen to past shows, go to her website at corneliastephanie.com.